day everyone. Kindly follow me on my Facebook page and subscribe to my YouTube channel. Thank you. Sa video tutorial na ito, pag-uusapan natin ang rational exponent and radical expressions at kabilang na rin dito ang laws of radicals. Pero balikan muna natin ang rational numbers. Rational numbers are real numbers that can be written in the form a over b where a and b are integers and b must not be equal to 0. Kasi kapag nag-0 na ang denominator ng isang fraction, that is undefined. Hence, they can be whole numbers, fractions, mixed numbers, and decimals together with their negative images. Kapag naman sinabing rational exponent, it is an exponent that is a fraction. So, we have this given a raised to m over n. a is our base and m over n is our exponent or yung tinatawag nating rational exponent. Let's now have the examples. Simplify the following expressions. Number 1, a raised to 1 half times a raised to 3 halves or a raised to 3 over 2. Kapag tayo ay nagmumultiply ng expressions, kung ang given na base ay variable lang, ibig sabihin walang numerical coefficient sa kanilang kaliwa, so kukopya lang natin yung variable or yung base and then um, i-add natin yung exponent. So, that will be a raised to 1 half plus 3 halves. And then, kapag nag add naman tayo ng fraction, kapag magkatulad ng denominator, you will just add the numerator and then copy the denominator. Kapag naman magkaiba ng denominator, kailangan nyo munang hanapin ang LCD ng dalawang denominators, tapos tsaka nyo i-add. So, dito, since magkatulad ng denominator, which is 2, we will now add 1 half to 3 halves, so, the resulting equation or expression will be a raised to 4 over 2. And then, since kaya pang i-divide ang 4 sa 2, the final answer is a squared. Second example, 4x raised to 12, quantity to the 14th or oh, 1 fourth power. So, that is 4x raised to 12 over 4. Paano naging 12 over 4? Yung exponent na 12, minultiply natin sa isa pang exponent or uh, numerator ng isa pang exponent. So, 12 times 1 is 12. And then, 4. Copy the, uh, copy the denominator which is 4. Next, since kaya pang i-divide ang 12 sa 4, the resulting expression will be 4x cubed. Because 12 divided by 4 is 3. And then, hindi pa iyan yung final answer. Pwede pa natin simplify since the direction is to simplify the following expressions. So, isimplify natin ang 4x cubed by distributing the exponent 3 to 4 and x. So, that will become 4 cubed times x cubed. And then, isimplify natin yung 4 cubed. Kapag sinabing 4 cubed, that is 4 times 4 times 4. So, the final answer is 64x cubed. Third example, 9 over 16 quantity raised to 1 half or 9 over 16 raised to 1 half. Ibig sabihin niyan, we have to simplify first the 9 over 60. So this this will become 3 squared over uh, 3 squared raised to 1 half over 4 squared raised to 1 half. Paano naging uh, 3 squared? 9 kapag hinanap natin or kinonvert natin siya na may exponent na 2, that will be 3 squared because 3 times 3 is 9 and 4 times 4 is 60. Next Pwede na nating i-multiply yung dalawang exponents ng numerator at ng denominator dun sa 1 half. Kaya magiging 3 raised to 2 over 2 over 4 raised to 2 over 2. Because 2 times 1 is 2 and then copy the denominator 2. Ganon din sa uh, denominator na 4 squared. So next, 2 divided by 2 is 1. Therefore, the final answer is 3 fourths. Proceed naman tayo sa radical expression or radical. It is an expression containing this symbol which is called as the radical sign. An exponential number or an exponential number whose exponent is a radical number can be expressed as radicals. So, i-compare natin ang exponential sa radical. So, in exponential, uh, the keyword is exponent. So, kapag sinabing exponent, we have the given a raised to m over n. 
wherein A is the base and M over N is the exponent, pwede natin yan gawing radical by um, separating the numerator and the denominator of the exponent. So, magiging nth root of A raised to M, wherein yung um, symbol na to, ito yung radical sign, N is yung tinatawag na nating index, and A raised to M is the radicand. So, we transform natin ang given exponential sa radical. We have the given 12 raised to 2 thirds or 12 raised to 2 over 3. So, paano nga ba natin yung gagawing radical? Paghihiwalayin lang natin yung numerator at denominator na exponent ng ating exponential. So, therefore, in radical, this is transformed as cube root of 12 squared. Yung denominator na 3 ay naging index and then meron tayong base or radicand, and then yung numerator ay naging exponent naman ng radicand. It is read as cube root of 12 raised to the second power or cube root of 12 squared. Next, paano kung meron naman tayong given na radical? That is read as fifth root of 32. So, since wala tayong exponent na nakikita dito, that is considered as 1. And then, yung exponent ng radicand na 32, which is 1, ay gagawin natin numerator. And then, yung 5 naman ay denominator. So, sa exponential, that is 32 raised to 1 fifth. And it is read as fifth root of 32. There are laws of radicals. So, laws of radicals are similar to the laws of integral exponents. Let A be mn or integer. So, meron tayong apat na laws of radicals. Let us discuss them or pag-usapan natin yan one by one. First law of radical, the nth root of a raised to the power of n is equal to a. Again, the nth root of a raised to the power of n is equal to a. So, ito yung susundan nating um, solution. Para sa ating first law of radical, so we have the example, cube root of 4 raised to the power of 3. So dito, um, hindi mo natin, natin i-consider ang exponent na nasa labas ng parenthesis. So i-transform muna natin sa exponential form yung nasa loob ng parenthesis, yung cube root of 4. So as you can see, um, walang nakalagay na exponent dito ang 4, therefore that is 1. So, that will become the numerator and 3 is the denominator. Kaya magiging 4 raised to 1 third. Quantity cube. Again, kinopya lang natin yung exponent na 3 na nasa labas ng parenthesis. And then, yung cube root of 4 raised to 1 ay naging 4 raised to 1 third. Next is to multiply 1 sa n or multiply 1 sa 3. That will become 4 raised to 3 over 3. And then, since we can divide 3 divided by 3, so the final answer is 4. Another example, 4th root of 10 raised to the power of 4. So, ganun pa rin, since walang number na nakalagay dito sa 10, so that is 1 fourth. Kaya magiging 10 raised to 1 fourth, quantity to the 4th power. And then, we will multiply 1 of the numerator dun sa exponent na nasa labas, kaya magiging 10 raised to 4 over 4. So, the final answer is 10. Second law of radical, the nth root of the product of a and b is equal to the nth root of a times the nth root of b. So, dito, nth root of a times b ay katulad lamang ng nth root of a times nth root of b. So, sineparate lang natin yung dalawang radicand. So, example, let's have the first example, 5th root of 4 times 5th root of 8. Ang 5th root of 4 times 5th root of 8 ay katulad lamang ng 5th root of 4 times 8. And then, we will just multiply 4 to 8 or by 8, so that is 5th root of 32. And then, ano nga ba ang 5th root of 32? That is 2. Because 2 times 2 times 2 times 2 times 2 is 32. 
Second example, square root of 50. As you can see, wala namang square root ang 50 or hindi siya perfect square. So, ano nga ba yung dalawang numbers na kung saan ang product ay 50? And kailangan ang isang number ng 50 ay perfect square. So, that is 25 times 2. Because 25 times 2 is 50. And then, 25, ang 25 ay merong perfect square. So, the square root of 25 is, is 5. So, since nakuha na natin ang square root ng 25, that will become 5 square root of 2. Because square root of 25 is 5. And then, uh, alisin na natin yung square root symbol niya since meron na siyang sagot. And then, since walang square root ang 2, mananatili siyang may radical sign. Third law of radical, the nth root of a divided by the nth root of b is equal to the nth root of the quotient of a and b. So kung kanina, multiplication yung ginawa natin sa a and b, dito naman is division. nth root of a over b. So let's have the example, cube root of 64 over x to the 6th power. So ito ay magiging 4 a uh, cube root of 4 cube over x squared quantity to the third power ah uh, to the third power paano naging 4 cube because when we multiply 4 times 4 times 4 that is 64 and then when we multiply x squared to cube that is 6 so this will become 4 over x squared raised to 3 over 3 paano naging 3 over 3 yung exponent because we multiplied 3 times 3 ah uh, Ito ay naging numerator at ito naman ang naging denominator. Hindi na natin yun inulit pa sa x squared dahil magiging tulad lang naman sila ng exponent. So, let us now divide 3 divide by 3. So, that is 1. Therefore, the final answer is 4 over x squared. Second example, square root of 18 over 2. Dito, kung kaya nyo munang i-simplify ang nasa loob ng radical sign, gawin nyo muna yon bago natin hanapin yung square root. So, since we can divide 18 by 2, and that is square root of 9, so hanapin naman natin ang square root of 9. So, the final answer is 3. Last law of radical, the root of a root is r root of a, where r is equal to m n. So, dito kung mapapansin nyo, nagdoble na yung radical sign. So, paano nga ba natin yan isoso? So, let's have the example cube root of the square root of 64. Again, it is read as cube root of the square root of 64. So, dito, hindi muna natin hahanapin yung cube root ng given radicand. Gagawin muna natin, hanapin muna natin yung square root ng given radicand. So, since may square root of 64, that will become cube root of 8 because the square root of 64 is 8. And then, hahanapin na natin yung cube root ng 8 the final answer is 2 because 2 times 2 times 2 is 8. Another example, square root of square root of 625. So dito, kapag walang nakalagay na number dito, iyon ay binabasa as square root. Ibig sabihin, may number 2 na invisible na nakalagay sa index. So again, it is read as square root of square root of 625. So ang square root of 625 ay 25. And then, kinopya natin yung, yung isa pang radical sign, kaya meron pa rin square root yung 25. And then, hanapin natin ang square root of 25, which is 5. Because 5 times 5 is 25. So, isummarize na natin ang video na ito tungkol sa rational exponent and radical expression. Kapag sinabing rational exponent, that is an exponent which is a fraction. Kapag naman radical expression or radical, it is an expression containing this symbol which is called as the radical sign. So, ano nga ba ang pagkakaiba ng exponential sa radical? Kapag ang exponential, ibig sabihin exponent, merong exponent na fraction, iyon yung tinatawag natin rational exponent. Wherein A is the base and M over N is the exponent. Kapag naman tinranspose, uh, tinran, tinransform natin siya sa radical sign or radical that is nth root of a to the power of m. Wherein, this one is the radical sign 
n is the index and a raised to m is the radical. I wish that this video will help you with your lesson. Thank you for watching. If you have questions or suggestions, feel free to comment below. Enjoy learning mathematics. God bless us all.